Hello Capricorn and Capricorn rising. Welcome to your April 2015 rune scope with me. My name is Amanda. As always, that quick reminder I always do, uh, check out the video for your rising sign as well if you know it. Uh, oftentimes you will find that's even more accurate than this very general sun sign reading because your rising sign is more specific to your chart than your sun sign. Uh, of course, the only way to get a reading only for you and about you is to schedule one with me. I do those on Skype. It's $65 for a 30 minute session. Drop me a line at the email address in this video or below this video if you wanna set up an appointment. And if you're on a phone or a mobile device, you may just need to tap the little arrow beneath this video and that'll open the details section and you'll find my email address there. I also wanted to mention that I will be offering another rune class. This one's gonna run June 1st through July 10th. It is for beginners. You don't have to have any previous experience with uh, runes or tarot or anything like that. So. It's $185 for the entire six week course. If that's something you're interested in, drop me a line at that same email address and I'll send you all the details and uh, I get you signed up. It, uh, you would need to devote four to five hours per week for that. So you just wanna make sure you can do that time commitment because there are lectures to watch and homework. So um, just something to keep in mind. But let's jump in Capricorn and see what's coming up for you guys in April. This is a nice casting. They they went right where they wanted to go. Sometimes I have to kind of feel them out and figure out where they want to go. They knew right <laughs> exactly which positions they wanted to hit here. Okay. So your focus here, Capricorn, for April. be bored with the four of cups <laughs> that's the card of boredom there really is no other way to say it. I mean you know you got stuff to do but you're just kind of bored with with you know everything is kind of like this is all like kind of routine stuff stuff you have to deal with um, you may be dabbling a little bit in something uh, a creative project or something that you're interested in maybe you're researching something um, maybe some of you are in a class or taking a class that you really don't like because with the Ansu's uh, Merck state here or reversed, it, it can mean a class that's particularly difficult or you just find dull. Maybe it's difficult because it's so boring. <laughs> it's just not something you're into. Um, so that may be how, how this plays out for some of you. Um, others of you may just be really, really bored with an environment where people are deceitful because this rune in reverse because it is the communication rune in reverse it can mean um, people lying to you uh, you know giving you biased advice talking behind your back um, you may just be yeah fed up with the people in your environment and the negativity so this could be at work this could be uh you know at your domestic situation if you live with your family or if you live with roommates it could be um co-workers people in your class um you know maybe people in this boring class <laughs> maybe it's a class that's also boring but it also draws a certain type of person um i don't know what that would be but maybe, yeah, people just who, maybe the other people are really into this and they, you know, don't get why you say it's boring. Um, but yeah, this, this could be, uh, you know, just some problems with communication, miscommunication, uh, arguments arising over, over silly things with the four of, with the four of cups here. It's, but whatever it is, it doesn't seem like it's, it's anything you can't quickly leave behind. I don't feel you're going to be focusing on it. Um, it's just something that you're like, I'm tired of this situation. I'm tired. I'm bored with talking about it. I'm bored with, uh, listening to this professor drone on and on. I'm bored with this work. Um, I'm just tired of this. So, uh, and Capricorn, some of you may decide to leave whatever this situation is because we have Esau, which is the rune of, uh, it can be separation, it can be divorce, but it can be divorcing yourself from a situation or a job, leaving a job. Um, or you may start looking. Some of you may be taking time off 
in April because this can also mean a, a just a you know uh, taking a break a, a bit of a freeze on a situation um, I feel like though for most of you that want to change jobs you may be looking in April just kind of seeing what's out there um, you may not quite be ready to leave yet or you may not find quite the right opportunity uh, but you may be kind of poking around seeing what's out there online um, in your field you may even be looking in other fields and, and you may be kind of you may be very adventurous in your job search online in April Capricorn um, you may be looking at things that are completely like stuff you've always been interested in but really outside your your wheelhouse as far as the experience you've had but that's good um, definitely I encourage you to do that dream big in April um, read read different job descriptions definitely look and see what's out there for things that maybe you hadn't considered before um, maybe it's totally different from what you're doing now maybe that's what you need um, and uh, you, you know maybe you're looking for some of you may be like there's nothing I want to do <laughs> you may be having a bit of a um, a month in April Capricorn where you're you you are just a little bit apathetic uh, which is fine we all go through phases with that you may just be feeling like um, I don't want to do this job anymore but I can't really think of anything else that I want to do either <laughs> so I mean definitely poke around and look see what opportunities are out there nothing may grab you in April but uh, you know it, it very well might in May uh, the help that's going to be available to you what you've got up here is the uh, you got the four of swords in reverse so um, I do feel like you'll be you'll be keeping busy and that may be keeping your mind off of a troublesome situation so I mean you your mind's gonna be occupied um, very occupied with thoughts and um, future plans and it's keeping your mind off of, maybe it's keeping your mind off of this you know people you have to deal with or a situation that has been argumentative um, dealing with a stubborn person because you have their assaults and reversed um, yeah you, you may start start to feel more positive about whatever that situation is too though uh, Capricorn this um, somebody lying to you or or who is uh, stubbornly resisting or in a, in a viewpoint that's they're just stubborn in their viewpoint but you think it's wrong it's like, so it's a person that it, you know their viewpoint in your opinion is wrong in Capricorn you know we all have our perceptions this person may feel the same way about you um, but you may feel this way about this person and but you may start to feel more positive about that for some reason and maybe it's just because you're not thinking about it or not having to deal with it you've got your mind on other things what can't be changed and I think that for some of you this is going to relate back to these other things some of these other positions here the lovers reversed comes up now some of you may be dealing with this that normally in reverse this is this is narrowing down a choice or making a decision but it can also be a triangle dynamic in a relationship so maybe if you're poking around and looking for a new job in April you may narrow down at least the field that you're interested in if you're wanting to make a career change if you're wanting to make a complete shift you may narrow down a, an option or an area that you're like I would really like to do that um, some of you may be planning travel that may be another way that this is uh, this is working you may be planning a trip um, uh, looking at uh, thinking about future things thinking about future travel and trips and stuff like that and that's keeping your mind off of situations you don't want to deal with like this class or this this argumentative situation that you've been in um, but yeah this can be a triangle dynamic in a relationship so I mean it could be um, that you hear about someone close to you in this situation but whatever this is it comes as a surprise because we have Pedro here which is the rune of something that's been hidden coming to light and it's quite shocking it can be quite shocking with Hagalas here uh, and definitely having to do with a partnership or relationship doesn't have to be romantic this could also be in a business partnership so you Capricorns 
you could find out maybe that somebody that you are in a business partnership has done something without asking or hired someone or brought someone on or made some decisions without asking and that could be why there's been arguments or why you know maybe you have this feeling somebody's doing something behind your back and then you you find out you know well indeed they are um and of course this can be a relationship if you if you have, haven't been with someone very long, even if you have, I, I'm sorry to say Capricorn. I feel like though, with for those of you that this is the way it's working out, you've had your suspicions for quite some time that maybe somebody's hiding something from you. Um, and it does not, again, have to be a romantic partner. We're in partnership, emotional partnership with anyone that we have relationships with. So family, friends, um, co-workers, any, you know, again, business partners. So, yeah, you could find out that somebody was withholding or hiding information from you about the fact that they were cheating or there was a triangle dynamic in a relationship. Maybe this is a friend and they just, you know, are dealing with this and you're just tired of hearing about it. Maybe you're trying so hard to be a good friend. Because <laughs> Capricorn, you are. You are very good, steadfast, loyal friends. And, you know, you're very sturdy. So people will often be drawn to you who have a lot of crises in their lives. And uh, so this could be somebody who's just, you know, and, and you can't help it. You're just bored with it. Because maybe this is like the 7,000th time they've brought this up. They just can't get past it. And, and you know, you're trying to be good friends. So you can't say, oh, my God, just drop it. But you may be tempted to. <laughs> Or you may be saying that I'm just too busy. I can't talk today going back to this. And maybe, you know, as that's coming up in assistance or, or what will help you this month, maybe you should. Maybe you just need a break. Because those people um, can be energy drains on us. Um, people in situations like that, you know, after a certain point, you got to let it go and move on. And uh, this could be somebody who's having trouble letting go of a relationship, letting go of... Uh, a breakup or a situation where um, there was more than two people involved but so this could be a group dynamic but um, I do feel like something hidden about that situation will come out so maybe this maybe that's what brings this person back to maybe where they were there's there's new information that comes to light that's kind of shocking or distressing and uh, it brings that situation up again um, but you're going to be trying to escape it, escape talking about it. Uh, the High Priestess, in reverse, uh, going back to going back to this situation where um, you're trying to free yourself from it. So it could be this situation, or it could be a job. Any situation that where you're feeling like there's just it's surrounded by negativity. Not all the people around it are necessarily negative, but the situation. Uh, maybe negative, um, but certainly it can mean neg negative people. The high priestess in reverse can actually signify a person who thinks they are spiritual or pretends they are spiritual, but they're not. Normally a female doesn't have to be, but she is presenting as the priestess. Um, it could be somebody who just... Uh, thinks they're intuitive but they're not or is not listening to their intuition. Capricorn for some of for some of you this could be you. Maybe you're not listening to your intuition especially when it comes to a new beginning or a creative project or uh, working on something. Maybe maybe something's not flowing for you in April and um, or, or yeah, you're not receiving information in the same way that you were. Or, but yeah, I feel like flow is kind of the right word. I do think this is temporary. Um, some of you may be trying to get in touch with your intuition. You may be on a bit of a spiritual quest, or you may be reading up on subjects that you're interested in within that realm, or meditating or trying to meditate for the first time and having difficulty with it. Don't give up, because I, I do feel like um, you do have help from the other side, your spirit guides uh, with Aeol here. Uh, they're saying, wait for it with the Nine of Rods. It will come. You know, it's just a matter of quieting your mind, quieting all this kind of chaotic stuff going on around you so you can receive it. But if you give it a chance and wait, you will start receiving. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. So if you've just started this in April, any of those spiritual undertakings or 
or research or paths, um, you know, they require a lot of investment of time and, and exercises sometimes, depending on what you're doing. Uh, like uh, if you're doing psychic development or um, something like this, I mean, it takes practice to, to tap into those sorts of energies. So make sure you're giving yourself enough time. Don't expect to be a, an expert after like two, a two week workshop or two week class or something. Um, but yeah, I do feel like you, you will feel that you're guided by spirit. You will start receiving this information again. You have a lot of protection around you for goals that you're waiting to accomplish. So it may not quite be time. The time may not be ripe in April to finish things. It's kind of an in-between stage is what I'm getting for you in April. Uh, there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing really super going on, uh, but that's okay. I feel like you need a break. And you may just be considering possibilities. And it may not be time to act, but it's definitely time to consider. Uh, so yeah, they're saying wait for it. You'll be spiritually guided to know what to do. And um, you will be, you will know the right course. If you're looking for a new job, if you're looking for a way to resolve a situation or to help a friend who, who may, you may feel kind of at your wit's end about how to help this person. And maybe you can, maybe that's what, how you're going to help them is recommend that they get help from somebody who is a professional. Um, you know, with whatever this situation is. Some of you may be doing photography in April. They're showing me a lens. And so some of you may be filming something. You may be uh, doing something associated with film. You may be watching a lot of films, but you may be also taking photographs or going, going out and photographing some spring flowers or, or something. Cause I'm definitely seeing a, a camera. So, that may be what you're doing. Maybe that's the job you're looking for. You're like, I want to take pictures. So I'm going to look for jobs doing that. Or I'm going to look for jobs, uh, you know, to, to film things. You know, I'm going to look for opportunities to, to do that. So, yeah, you may be looking in more creative fields. And I think you should. It'll definitely, even if you don't decide on any of those or there are no opportunities, then it will at least broaden your mind as far as, um, kind of getting you out of a rut as far as what opportunities may be available for you career-wise out there, Capricorn. So that is what I see for April. Good luck with that, and I'll see you back here in May.